Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference WRC 23 here in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I'm pleased to be joining the studio by Mr. El Hajar Abdurrahman who is uh, the Chair of Committee 6 here at the World Radio Communication Conference as well as being with the African Telecommunication Union playing a number of important roles there. Mr. Abdurrahman, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Welcome. Now, let me ask you, first of all, Tell us a little bit about your chair as role of the committee and, and what are the, the, some of the uh, issues that your committee is focusing on and why are they important to the conference? Committee 6 is dealing with the general matters and um, when it comes to general matters we are referring for example to the update um, to the regional regulation um, because we do not only deal with uh, standing agenda items on, on specific topics but we have also um, the review of uh, the existing provision, the rigid regulation, so that to take into account, for example, if there has been some updates to to the recommendation at the level of ITUR, some of those recommendations um, are incorporated by reference in the rigid regulation, there might be a need to update them or even the, the, the resolution recommendation of previous conferences, there is a need to review them. So um, in the view either to revise or to abrogate or to update uh, some of the, the this provision. Now the World Radio Communications is a long conference that uh, has a particular importance in ITU's calendar, but it's also very much representative of ITU's multi-stakeholder approach, which engages governments, regulatory authorities and industry in finding consensus on the issues that are being discussed here. How successful do you think that is? Uh, it's just important because, um, first of all, the, 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 the first aim of the WRC is to revise the, the regional regulation. The uh, regional regulation is a treaty, it's an international treaty, so it means that it involves um, a, a member state at the first level, but at the same time also um, the aim of this regional regulation is to cope with the trends that we have in the industry and also um, to, it's also to provide, it's also a way of uh, providing a means to achieve the, the sustainable development goals uh, through the ICT. So therefore um, it's involved a, a large community of peoples as you have indicated, the, the government, uh, the industry, and um, other civil society and even the consumers. So all these uh, stakeholders need to get together because um, to find a solution, we need to, 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 to have the input from everyone. So therefore, um, it's a good platform for everyone to be there, to be on board, and to make sure that um, the outcome of such conference will fit with uh, the, the, the goals for, for, for the government and also for the peoples in general. Now you mentioned there's a large community here. There's also been a big push to encourage more women to participate in this conference. I wonder from your experience and, and from your perception, uh, how youth successful do you think that's been? Yes, um, during the last uh, radio assembly, um, the, 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 there was a good uh, move that we had on this issue with uh, the, the resolution which was, uh, which was adopted by the radio assembly um, for mainstreaming uh, gender issues. So therefore, um, I had also uh, been honored in my committee um, to have also lead women taking leadership role. Um, one of the vice chair for, for, the, for the committee six, Ms. Tanya Villa from Mexico, she's vice chair for the committee six. And also at the level of the sub-working groups, we had some women uh, which have chaired some of those uh, groups. Uh, Ms. Keiko from Japan, Ms. Taylor Bayenza from, from, uh, from Tanzania. So it means that we are, that there is an endeavor to have uh, more women taking leadership role um, during, during this WRC and our force. I'm, I'm sure also even um, looking at um, the attendance here, uh, there are more, more, more and more women attending such kind of gathering and it's really important to have uh, more involvement of women in the um, uh, ITUR, especially sector, radio sector activities. I know that it's where you have less women uh, uh, involved in the activities. It's, more, it's, it's really important to have more and more women in those activities. And you're not only wearing your heart on your sleeve, you're wearing your band on your wrist there that says, uh, uh, <laughs> yes. now for, what does it say? <laughs> now for, for WRC, WRC 2023, 20, which yes. is, of course, in the network of women. Exactly. Uh, excellent. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's very, very admirable. Thank you very much. Finally, is there a message that you would like to convey to the delegates here as well as uh, to our wider audience around the world? 
Yes, um, I think one of the outcome of this conference will be um, the agenda item for, for the next WRC. And uh, this item is, uh, this topic is really important. Why? Because um, it will give the guidance on the, the uh, work that should be carried out by the different groups within ITU in, in preparation of uh, the next conference. But uh, ultimately, this also um, is a way to contribute um, to, uh, to, to the new landscape for, 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 for ICTs and uh, with uh, the, the contribution of the spectrum uh, in providing and achieving the, the, the goals for, for the SDG goals. Uh, therefore, there are several new uh, topics who have been brought to this conference. They are still on the, on, on, uh, on the discussion, but hopefully uh, by the end of the conference we'll identify what will be the major trends for the, for the next years with regard to development uh, in the field of radio communications. Now, briefly, while we've got a little bit of time, how many uh, WRCs have you attended in the past? My first WRC was um, in 2003. Okay. So in Geneva, and this WRC also was chair was by, by, by a woman, Ms. Fina Rawat from Canada. Indeed, absolutely. No, no, I wasn't there, but, uh, but we have interviewed her in the studio as well. Uh, so I just wanted to ask you your impression. Has it, the task got easier as you've uh, done more of these, or is it uh, equally as challenging? Um, I think having a position of chair of committee is, um, is a challenge. It's, it's an enriching experience, first of all. But of course, you, you, you may have to face some challenges, but I think it is something that uh, is really interesting. I've learned a lot from the process because um, you are working with several peoples and some of these peoples are very experienced in that field. And your role as uh, chair of committee is just to lead and um, to make to ensure that uh, the rules for the for the for the general for the conferences apply so it was really a good experience that i had and uh, i really liked uh, liked it and I, i'm very thankful uh, for those who have uh, for the for, for, for those who have, with whom i have worked with um, as chair of the sub uh, works out the working groups, sub working groups, and even the secretariat, because um, the secretariat, the BR, is doing a lot, a lot to facilitate our life. Well, thank you very much for your work here at the conference, which I'm sure is highly appreciated, and your presence here in the studio today. We look forward to catching up with you again, perhaps at the, the next WRC. Thank you, Max. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel, as well as our podcasts on SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.